We'll begin the news. These are in a Damar state where no fewer than 15 people have died in an attack on three communities by suspected headsmen. Now, the raided communities share border with Taraba State. Our correspondent, Owola Biadenusi, visited one of them. Here at the village square, grieving over their predicaments are survivors of the attacks of Bolong in Demsa local government area of Adamawa state. Some try to salvage what they can from their houses raised by suspected insurgents in the midnight attack. Sharing their experiences with TVC News, they say their village came under heavy attack at about 10 p.m. when many of them were already in bed. The government, they said, surrounded the village with sporadic shootings ranging the air before setting their thatched homes ablaze. They explained that at the end of the shooting, four people were killed. They also listed two elderly couples who were born to death and their two granddaughters who were shot by the attackers. After we had our dinner, we were resting. My elder brother went out to ease himself behind the house. There he saw our enemies hiding in the bush. He quietly withdrew himself before he entered the house. We heard gunshots and we heard them speaking in Alsa language. Then we heard sporadic gunshots all over the place. In panic, we ran in all directions and escaped with our children. Some of them even died. We don't know what to do. The village head of Belong, Robinson Felguna, explained how they were attacked. According to him, numbers of casualties would have been more if the youths had not resisted the attackers. When we heard gunshots, our youths came out with their bows and arrows to repel the attack. We had local weapons while our attackers had modern guns. When they started shooting, the whole village, the whole village was thrown into confusion and panic. They overpowered us and chased us out of our village. These people are ex-men, but we don't know how many attacked us because it was late in the night. A community leader and House of Representatives elect from Newman, Demsa and Lamarode Federal Constituency wants relevant authorities to assist the people who have been constantly attacked by suspected headsmen. This view is shared by other political leaders. Every human being with a heart will be weeping for my people. For no just cause for this community to be attacked, 90% of the whole village raised down. Two elderly men born in their house. Two children shot dead. What is this country turning into? And we have a government and we have a system, and we have security agents. From that village to the main road, it's just a distance of three kilometers. And there is a military checkpoint. This is not the first time. I think it's the third time Bolon has been attacked. And um, whenever such thing is happening, you know, we will we'll alert the security. Yet, the security will not take any action until when such lives and property have been destroyed and you find out they are coming just to showcase maybe their weapons or whatever. But honestly, it's, it's just unfortunate. The security men and the government are not in their duty post as to what I'm seeing here. And uh, my appeal to the government of the day is to come to the aid of these people immediately. The police public relations officer, Uthman Abubakar, said the police have been informed of the situation but we are yet to get details of the attacks. Farming communities in the two local government areas, similarly in the bondage of suspected headsmen, are calling on government to intensify efforts towards restoring security of life and property to the area.